Dead. Nice to meet you. I'm Lori Hess. I'm a veterinarian and owner of the Veterinary Center for Birds and Exotics. And I hear you're thinking about boarding Fluffy. Great. Well, come on in. Let me show you around. We opened the Veterinary Center about three years ago. I've actually been taking care of birds and exotic animals for about close to 20 years. And I'm really, really proud of the center because it is the only veterinary hospital in this area and all of Westchester County and the surrounding areas that actually takes care of only exotic animals. So ferrets and rabbits and rodents and reptiles, no dogs or cats. This is a place specialized for animals just like Fluffy. So let me show you around and meet some of the other people who work here. This is Angela. Angela, this is Fluffy's dad. And Fluffy Hi, how are you? Morning here. Nice to meet you. And Angela, um, why don't you explain if, if uh, Fluffy bring, is brought in by his dad to board, what happens? Oh, well, when you come in, we'll have you fill out uh, some information, which is basically a registration form, just giving us the information that we need so we can get you in the computer, all set up in the database. And then we'll have you go in with the technician, and the technician will ask you a bunch of questions, like what you feed and how you take care of your baby at home, so that we can do the same thing here when you board. I can't believe all that knocking in the background. These are our pets, and they live here all the time, and they're crazy. <laughs> and they're letting you know that they want to meet you, too. This is Fluffy's dad. And um, this is actually Stop and Target, and they live in the waiting room. And uh, they're here to bring us happiness, but also to serve as blood donors. And they make a big mess, but they're kind of fun. So come on and meet the rest of the staff. So we actually have three exam rooms. Um, so before Fluffy comes in, Fluffy would actually be examined in an exam room just like this. Um, we do everything right in front of you because we know how important it is for you to see what goes on and, and be, trust us that we're going to be comfortable with your pet. But let me teach you, show you around a little bit more uh, to some of the other people who work here. This is our treatment room. Hey, Dr. Avich, what's going on? Hi. This um, is Fluffy's dad. He's actually great. thinking of boarding Fluffy here. Great, it's so nice to meet you. We have a lot of animals that board here, actually. I'm in the middle of taking an x-ray on this bearded dragon. Um, we're, we're worried he might have something going on in his lungs because he's been making a weird noise at home. Wow. Oh, God, that's not so good. It looks like no. he's still eating, though. He has some berries on his face. That's yeah, he is great. still eating, so that's a good sign. Good, great. Um, I think uh, this poor little bird over here is not eating, though. Oh, no, he looks really, really sick. Yeah, we're setting up to place a catheter in him, and actually Katie's running some blood work. I'm worried he might have uh, renal failure or okay. kidney failure. All right, well, we'll go check in Katie afterward. I'll see if that blood work is done. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Well, it's right, so nice so to meet you. And I hope you board here soon. Yeah, Dr. Ravitch is great. She is my right-hand woman. Uh, we work together on everything. Uh, Peggy, what are you up to? This is Peggy. Hi, I'm Peggy. I'm one of the technicians. Uh, we just finished our routine exams this morning, so I'm going to start setting up for surgery. We actually have a pretty um, simple surgery today. It's a mass removal on a rabbit. Great. Well, uh, that shouldn't be too bad. I'm, you know, rabbit surgery is a little delicate. We have to be careful. So we have to get that endoscope ready so that we can pass the breathing tube. Yes, yes. We, will. Um, we do a lot of rabbit surgery here, and Peggy is in charge. She's make sure that everything goes right and that the animal stays monitored and healthy through the whole surgery. Uh, but you're not interested in surgery because Fluffy's healthy. So come on in and let's see boarding. That's what you want to see because I know that Fluffy's going to come with, maybe stay with us sometime over the holidays. Right? <laughs> Ooh, well, there's one of our boarders. Hey there. Hi, I'm Sarah. Nice to meet you. Welcome to boarding. Ah! Yes! This is a green wing macaw. She's staying with us again. She's a pretty frequent flyer. Um, I was actually just giving her toy back. Usually she gets very excited when she sees it. Oh, you going to say anything? Ah! Yes, you want this? Here, have it. Oh, my goodness. We have some other animals back here boarding. What are they watching today on TV? Right now, they're watching Bob the Builder. <laughs> Excellent, my favorite. Um, our little cockatiel friend really enjoys the television. Um, the rabbits try to convince us that they're not so excited about it, but I think they watch when we're not looking. Right now, they're spending most of their time eating. I think they're more excited about the food. I think they are, too. I would be. <laughs> it's really nice to have this place calm down. I mean, we just finished being here for Hurricane Sandy, and this place was crazy. We had animals all the way to the ceiling. We had reptiles in every room and birds. All the people whose power went out, they brought their animals here because we have a generator. And I think we had, like, 45 animals in the hospital. But it was a great feeling to be able to help people because we um, were able to keep their animals safe and healthy well, they dealt with their homes, and the animals did great. The, bird, the birds were actually talking to each other, thank you very much. Um, and uh, everybody got along, and everyone ho went home safely, and I think we're all happy that it all calmed back down again. But uh, it wouldn't be like that when Fluffy comes. But let's see what else is going on. I have to go check on that blood test uh, on that bird. So come on along to the lab. Dr. 
subscribers, I'm going to go check on that, that lab work, okay? Okay, great. Yes, let me know what it says. I will. I will. So that was the sort of nuts and bolts of the hospital. Um, we're going to go down around here. I don't know uh, if Katie's in the lab or she might actually be down here in the isolation ward. Let's see. Oh, no, she's not here. This, is, this happens to be our isolation ward where we put sick pets that are contagious, but fortunately there's nobody in there now. Um, and Fluffy, of course, would be nowhere near that. So let's go down to the lab. We're not a big place, but we love what we do. Hey there, Katie. Hi, how are you? This is Fluffy's dad. Hi, nice to meet you. Fluffy's actually, maybe you get aboard with us over the holidays. I'm just waiting on some results right now for the surgery patients. It's pretty cool we can get them in-house right away. That's great. Do we have results back on the kidney values on that bird yet? No, we're still waiting on that. He looks really sick. I'm really worried about him. All right, well, hopefully the surgery animal will be ready. Peggy's setting up for surgery, um, and uh, Sarah's just finishing up with the boarding ward, and Dr. Rabbit's just finishing with the bearded dragon. So everybody's got stuff going on, and in a little while we'll be ready to go. All right, let me get you back to Dr. Rabbit. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. One more person for you to meet. And this is our lab, by the way. We're here, and we have in-house blood testing, and we have all kinds of machinery, microscopes, and, and lots of uh, medication if we need. We really have everything that we need to keep all the exotic pets happy and healthy here. But again, you're just boarding, so hopefully Fluffy won't have to have anything to do with that. Oh, okay. Pauline's on the phone. So we'll have that tomorrow? Terrific. This is Pauline. Great. She's on the phone. Thanks very much. I wanted to introduce you. This is Fluffy's dad. Oh, you know Fluffy, the hi. one that's on board? Hi. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, so glad to see you. Um, I am uh, the practice manager. My name is Pauline, and I'm one of those behind-the-scenes people. I make sure that the doctors and technicians have all uh, the equipment and medications that they need in order for us to offer the quality of care that we do. Um, I do have a folder for you for uh, your reading pleasure when you get home. Uh, it's a little bit of information about us. Um, you can see a little bit more about what we do here, and you can take that home with you. Thanks very much. And so I'm sure that we'll see you soon. I hope you enjoy the rest of your tour. Yeah, we, he, I think he's actually managed to meet everybody here. Wow, that's great. Uh, we did want to mention that we have a great website. It's www.avian, like the bird, A-V-I-A-N, exotics with an S on the end, vet.com. And there's a boarding form on there. Again, all the information about the hospital and any questions you know that you have after that, you can call us. So um, I hope that you got what you needed to today, and we're really looking forward to meeting Fluffy. So thank you so much for coming today, and don't hesitate to call us. Bye-bye.